Morning, everyone. So, you have to excuse me, I look like shit, but I just woke up. So, I wanted to tell you guys about a dream that I had last night before my memory, you know, or before I forget. <sighs> so, um, just made my first cup of coffee. So, I'm just about to. So, let me have my first cup of coffee first before. So, I had an interesting dream last night, and it was kind of a little out there. Um, and I think, you know, maybe I had this dream because I had pizza last night. And whenever you have, like, food like pizza or something heavy like a burger or whatever, I don't know what the hell happens, but you have the craziest dreams. But sometimes I have dreams that are really, like, out there, and this was pretty out there. So, um, in the dream, and I... I, I well, I'm noticing, I know I'm keeping you guys like, what, what is a dream for you? What's a dream? But I'll get to it. I'll get to it. So, um, but I'm noticing, I'm noticing that the, lately when I'm having dreams, and, and I think this has been a pattern that I've started to see, when I'm seeing something that's going to occur, instead of seeing it from like a bird's eye view, I'm seeing it from someone who's in that situation or in there experiencing things and seeing things from their eyes or, or from their emo from their emotional state um you know and, and i keep I, i'm i'm starting to realize that i'm doing that on a regular basis so but in this dream there's different components to the dream so i'm going to kind of walk you through it um it, it, the dream started off where i was going to this law firm or this like it, it was it was some sort of i think it was a law firm or it was a sitting down with some sort of a um, official person who is going to uh, kind of remind me of a reporter but it wasn't a reporter it was more like a like a like a attorney and i was going in and i was sitting with an attorney and i was talking to them and they were asking me about a specific person or you know an individual and uh, in the in the in this dream i was a male i was me um well that's all i know is to be me but in the dream i was a male and the person that I was being asked about was a female. And the attorney, the the, the, the person asking me questions, uh, the interviewer was also female. So I was sitting down at this table and I was answering questions about a particular person and their employment there and how they've been and how they've acted. And I was specifically being asked questions that had to do with like sexual harassment or like them you know being harassed in any way or, or mistreated and in the interview the only thing that I could think back to was uh, me trying to work with this person directly and giving them instructions or giving them some sort of like a, like orders for what they needed to do um, and they were having trouble doing it it's almost like they were either retaliating or they were having trouble doing it um, and that's all I could think back to. And so they kept asking me over and over again, is there anything else that you remember? Is there anything else that you want to talk to us about? Is there anything else you want to mention to us? And I was like, no, there's nothing There's nothing else that I can remember or recall. So then fast forward. Um, so I'm in this, in the dream, I'm in this, what reminds me of like an office, but it's kind of, I don't know if this is like a computer room or an office or, it, it, you know, I, for a minute there, I thought I was in the line at Best Buy. Um, but there was computers there. There was like, like it, it, technology and equipment there. There was just, it was a weird computer, let's call it a computer room. Um, and I was standing in line to get something like for a camera or to get something done. And I feel like I was like specifically focused on my phone. Like there was something on my phone that I was trying to like figure out. And um, there were some guys there and they were asking me, you know, they, they were looking at me in a weird way. and. They were asking me if I was from Barcelona or something like that. I was like, no, I'm not from Barcelona. Um, and then that was very short because it was just weird. Um, and I almost felt like this was, they were foreign or they weren't from the set, you know, they were orange from here. Um, and then the dream like changed. And then at some point I'm in this room, the same room, this computer room, and there are people sitting at their computers and they're just like watching like stuff on the computers. And then at some point, um, there's politicians in the room. So there's several important political men in the room. Not women, men. And they begin to... Um, some of them begin to take some of the women and begin to have sex with them. And I'm like, 
Okay, and so in that, I don't, it's weird because at that moment, I actually was not seeing things from my perspective. I was kind of like a fly in the room. Like I was just seeing things from a third person perspective. That's at, at that moment, I wasn't even in that person's, like I wasn't even me, I was somewhere else. Um, and these men were like forcing these women to have sex with them. And um, at one point, like some of the women were saying no, like no, like they were like they did not want this to happen, but the they were being very forceful and they were like forcing them. They were I would say raping them. That's what they were doing is raping them, and they, it was weird because I think they were all on drugs or they were all taking something or on something, so it wasn't like the cleanest, like let's say environment. Um, and it's weird because this was happening while other people the other these other people they were still on the computers they were like like they didn't even realize this was happening or this was going on but there was just like what i would call an orgy so there was this orgy with these polit 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 politicians male politicians happening there and they were raping these women or taking advantage of these women and they were using drugs or they were on stuff and there were some of some political men who were there but they decided they didn't want to participate or they just didn't want to do it so they left uh, because it wasn't their thing but they knew about it but there were the others that were just like totally taking advantage of the situation and I was in the room and I was there with like my phone like with a video and I was recording like the scene and the situation and then that's all then that ended and then all of a sudden there, I'm in a courtroom with lots of people it feels like an official court, like it feels like an official proceeding, and I'm on the stand and I'm being asked about this video because I'm the one that made it. So, people were like, they thought that I was in on it, and I was like upset because I I'm that's not my character, that's not who I am, and I have I had no recollection that that even occurred and that I did that. And it, it's interesting because in the video, there's you can see me. It's like weird. It's, I think at some point I'm recording and then you can see my reflection. And you can see me there with this video thing, recording everything and watching everything. But I had no memory of this happening. And all I could think back to was other in incidents with these, with these same women or with one of the women where she was having issues with the work environment. But... I did not remember this event happening or taking place. And, and then I became upset, especially there in the courtroom, I became upset because I absolutely had no memory. And when I was being asked questions about, did I remember anything else? Or, you know, I, I had no idea that this is what they were talking about or this was they were this is what they were referring to. So it's just a weird thing and I became emotional and I became upset and I started crying because I was like, you guys don't understand, like I don't approve of this kind of behavior. I don't agree with this kind of behavior. I would never participate in anything like this. You know, the and, and either I was not um, I was under the influence of something or something happened that I don't remember, but I don't remember any of this. And 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 you know, I think these men were being prosecuted or they were being like they were being they were they're in trouble um and but the, the video was the evidence that was getting them but it's almost as if they were trying to take me down with them or i was going to get like sucked into this whole ordeal but i had no recollection or memory and i was trying to convince everybody that maybe i had been on like maybe something was given to me maybe i was on drugs or something and i didn't remember because i had a memory blackout but i had no memory or recollection of it and I started to cry and cry and cry. So, and then I woke up. And then I woke up and I was like, whoa, like what just happened? And so I have no idea what this, I have no idea what this dream is about. Um, it was just the weirdest dream. And, and it's like these political guys were just there. They were like, and these were like senators or like lead, like these were leaders, political leaders. And it was just so weird. Um, I have no idea what this dream it was. I don't even know if it was just me having too much pizza. Um, if I was just, you know, my brain was trying to do something and, and I created all these circumstances to help me process some things, or if there's something that I was seeing that wasn't, had nothing, you know, has nothing to do with me at all. Um, but it was upsetting and I woke up kind of upset because, you know, the fact that, the fact that, A, when I came out of the dream, I had just been on the stand 
trying to convince these people that I didn't remember any of these events happening, even though I was the one that had recorded these things. I didn't remember that. That was one thing, and the reason why I was upset. But another thing was because I had saw, I seen all these things happen, and I didn't do anything to stop it. And I'm like, why didn't I do anything to stop it? Like, how could I just sit there recording all these things and not do anything? Because I would never just sit by and let somebody be like treated like that, or be hurt, or be raped like that. Um, and, and, and then this just happened. Actually, you know, I have nightmares sometimes, you know, and my sister, or my sister will tell you because, you know, my, I love my sister, but I have the craziest like fears with my sister. Like, like I, I'm always worried, like, cause you know, she's a really pretty girl. And I'm like, I'm, I'm always worried that someone's going to rape her. Someone's going to attack her. Someone's going to do something to her. And I'm always telling her like, you need to take like Taekwondo or you need to take like martial arts or you need to know how to kick some ass because, you know, I don't want you to ever be in a situation where someone may take advantage of you. And it's just a fear that I have with her. And it's like, you know that, like, those the shows or those movies, like, A Thousand Ways to Die? I swear to God, I think of, I, like, that my, even though I try to be positive, I try to be a very, like, like lighthearted, positive person, I do have fears, just like any other human being. And when it comes to my family, especially my sister, like, I have these weird, like, A Thousand Ways to Die, like, what could possibly happen to you? What could possibly happen to you? This is, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to, like, learn how to protect yourself. Um, and, and so, and so I, I would never like just sit back and watch something happen to someone like that and then not step in and do something. Um, and it just, it was so upsetting just to like experience that whole thing and then like just see myself just recording this and not help these people. Um, so it was a really upsetting dream. So I woke up and I'm like, okay, this, I don't think this is to do with me because I don't have no idea what this is about. Um, and I need to share this because I have no idea what that's about. So these are just um some of the dreams that i have um that make no sense to me so i want to share it with you and uh, i don't know maybe something will come clear in the future if i start to understand or maybe have a better awareness of what this could have been about then i will make a follow-up video um but if you've had weird dreams after you've eaten something or heavy and you just have the craziest dreams um then share it in the comment section below i'd love to hear your story or your dream um, yeah, so if you if you have any idea what this dream could mean, I mean, feel free to share it as well. I'm really, like I said, I'm really good at um, interpreting other people's dreams when it comes to me and my stuff. <clears throat> not so much, not so much. I even when I try to like look at it from a third person perspective, I don't always understand the meaning. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you have a incredible Sunday, and I will talk to you guys next time. Okay, bye bye.